Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features a full review guide of the brand new Tier 10 American Light Cruiser USS Austin. The Austin is available now in the Armory since the launch of update 0.10.2 for 29,000 steel. The Austin falls into the category of what could be considered a glass cannon, capable of very high DPM when the reload booster is active, but yet incredibly vulnerable to incoming fire due to its very light armor. A lot of experience playing light cruisers is required in my opinion, with a very careful methodical playstyle to get the best out of Austin, which is potentially a very strong ship indeed, when played with tempered timed aggression. I think the term glass cannon doesn't quite cover the Austin though, as it's much more of a very high risk, high reward playstyle, and I do regard this ship as very challenging to play, and not to everyone's taste. Before going into the Austin stats in depth, let me quickly put up the build on screen that I've been refining throughout the testing process. I'm just using a regular non-bonus captain here, as it does require a specialized build, including the skill Heavy High Explosive and Sap Shells which is a straight up damage increase for both shell types, with no penalty as the gun caliber threshold is not met. So it's a win-win skill for sure. What also stands out in this build is my use of the gunfire control system mod to increase main battery firing range. It goes against my very nature to sacrifice DPM in a cruiser but the skill threshold required for playing with reload mod really can feel quite punishing, but I'll cover this more in a moment. Let me first show you the armor layout, which is just a simple port screenshot, and it immediately becomes obvious Austin is very lightly armored. 16 millimeters of fore end and aft end plating, including the main deck. I repeat, all covered in just 16 millimeters of armor, with the superstructure getting 13 millimeters. The upper armor belt consists of a large extended plate of 32 millimeters, which is surprisingly effective, while the main citadel armor belt consists of 95 millimeters. The six turrets get 32 millimeter armor plating on all sides including the barbettes. Now, when angled correctly, this 32mm plating is capable of bouncing a lot of armor-piercing shells. But show too much broadside or take incoming fire elsewhere, it will result in taking very nasty damage hits indeed. You don't want to be taking enemy fire in the Austin, if at all possible. Any kind of focus fire, an Austin will melt. So concealment and island cover will be your best friends in this ship. I consider the Austin best played as a real ambush predator. Stalking the battlefield, looking to catch the isolated and unaware off guard and delivering incredible bursts of firepower on target before the enemy even realizes it's already too late. Now we've seen the armor, let's look at the hit points. Austin gets 30,700 hit points and a minimal torpedo protection damage reduction of only 4%, which is the main reason I run with the Hydro Acoustic Search mod in slot 2, which extends the hydro duration to 132 seconds. Getting in close to deal with enemy destroyers is a dangerous business, and having long-lasting hydro capable of detecting ships at 5km 
and torpedoes at 3.5 kilometers is very helpful. If you are thinking the 30k of hit points is on the low side, you are not mistaken. A quick comparison, for example, to another light American cruiser, the Wooster, which gets over 45,000 hit points, which is significantly more. Austin does, however, get five repair parties. And if you can limit the incoming damage to light high explosive or fire damage, then these can keep Austin alive in the fight quite effectively. So we come to the Austin's main battery, and this is where it can get a bit scary. Austin gets 12 127mm guns in 6 dual mounted turrets, with an 8 second reload speed and a max firing range of 17.4 kilometers. These turrets have a fast 180 degree turning time of only 4.5 seconds and a max dispersion at max range of 142 meters. This 8 second reload and 17.4 km range is with the range mod in slot 6. Running with the reload mod instead reduces the reload by 1 second to 7 seconds but also the range drops 2.4 km down to 15 km. I highly recommend running with the range mod first as you come to terms with the ship's strengths and limitations. USS Austin is capable of firing high explosive and semi armor piercing. And remember, these damage numbers are both boosted by the captain's skill heavy, high explosive, and sap shells. These HE rounds can inflict a max damage of 1980 and can penetrate 21 millimeters of armor and have a base chance of setting the target on fire of 9%, boosted to 10% with both signal flags mounted, which leaves the semi-armor piercing shells that can inflict a max damage of 2970 and can penetrate 36 millimeters of armor. Both shell types have the exact same shell speed of 808 meters per second. So no adjustments are required when leading the target when swapping out ammo types. These shells, they retain their shell velocity even at long range. And the result of which means it's much easier to land shells reliably on target even at max range, making these guns feel even more effective. When it comes to effectiveness, however, it's the addition of the main battery reload booster that can make these guns really quite potent. Activating the reload booster reduces the main battery reload speed to just 2 seconds for the duration of the reload booster, which is 15 seconds, allowing Austin to have a very high damage output. Combine this with the Austin's unlimited supply of this consumable, which is only restrained by a cooldown time of 107 seconds, lending itself further to the hit and run type playstyle of a very dangerous ambush predator. Austin gets more weapons at her disposal, with two X5 torpedo launchers, one on each side with decent firing angles and a max firing range of 10.5 kilometers and a reload time of 106 seconds. These are the same as the Fletcher's torpedoes, the tier nine US Navy destroyer, capable of inflicting a max damage of over 19,000 and are quite functional, having relatively good concealment of just 1.4 kilometers and a torpedo speed of 66 knots. Given that Austin is quite a stealthy cruiser, it means one can quite easily torp targets from the safety of concealment for that added element of surprise. 
Austin does not stop there, however, being capable of serving as a very nasty counter to enemy aircraft. Austin gets a very strong AA rating of 98, with 24 AA guns in total. 12 76.2mm guns, combined with the main battery 127mm guns, doubling up as AA. All combined, they pump out a continuous average damage of 422, slightly more of which is mid-range damage, firing 10 flak explosions per salvo, each capable of a max damage of 1820, with a max firing range of 6 kilometers. Austin gets an additional 5 charges of defensive AA fire, boosting the flak damage by 300% and continuous damage by 50% with the action time of 40 seconds. Take into account a very short cooldown period of just over one minute and Austin presents a significant threat to enemy planes. So much so that usually after one or two unsuccessful attacks, the vast majority of carriers will simply leave you alone after taking heavy plane losses. When it comes to maneuverability, Austin feels quite nimble, with a base speed of 35 knots, increased to 36.8 knots when mounting the Sierra Mike signal flag, a turning circle of 670 meters, and a rudder shift time of 6.1 seconds. And this is using the steering gears mod in slot 4. Being able to avoid incoming damage in Austin is paramount to your survival. So the term just dodge gets a whole new meaning when piloting the Austin. But maneuverability wise she does feel pretty solid. Finally stats wise we come to the Austin's concealment rating of 69 with a full stealth build including Module in slot 5 and the Captain Skill Concealment Expert. Austin will be surface detected at 9.3 kilometers and from 6 kilometers by aircraft, which is its AA range. Austin's concealment is very good. For comparison, only the Minotaur boasts better concealment at this tier at 9.1 kilometers. All in all, I would recommend Austin to experienced cruiser players, as it really can have its moments. I must however include a warning for the inexperienced cruiser player, as Austin can be very difficult to master. It's a lot of steel for a ship that one might not actually play much upon realizing how difficult it can be at times. But this video is hopefully going to provide you the information required for you to make up your own mind before parting with so much steel. USS Austin is a wild ride, being the first American cruiser to receive semi-armor piercing and the reload booster. It's just a question for how many, how long can you stay on? I've included a second game from my live stream just the other evening, hopefully illustrating the damage potential of this ship in games that last a bit longer. I hope you enjoyed the video and feel free to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. So thank you very much for watching and until the next time. I'll torp on that side if you're going to torp all over there. juicy Vermont out there I wouldn't mind farming but I mean don't think we're going to get too much spotting help here
Smolensk out there, okay. Okay, he's gonna repair that to double. Why is he not? Why is he not repairing that fire? He likes to burn, I guess. Okay. He's gonna take a torp. And okay, now he's now he's repaired, so now it's, now it's time to hammer him. Hopefully we can get a fire with this damage con off cooldown. No joy. No joy, chat. No fire when we need it. Really don't want to fight a Smolensk with no reload booster. This is this is not this is not good for me at all. I have to use the island to go dark here. And he's actually oh damn it, he's actually Just have to tank this. Really? That's where you want me to ground? <laughs> really? And it ground again? Swap to AP. I'm hoping he's greedy. Gonna be greedy. Don't think he is. We've already lost two bat Kremlin and an Iowa. Okay. Do something about these DDs, maybe. Our Yugamo is just getting butchered. And it's in smoke. This is really risky. I'm just trying. Ah, he actually turned. Oh, he turned away. God damn it. I'm trying to ambush something here. I'm the one that's going to get blapped, I guess.
Can I get undetected, maybe? Guess not. Oh, Benham actually torped out Yukumo. That that helps a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. I mean, we've got three destroyers to the to their one, and our Kisha is no Oster Jutland. Not quite sure where he is. Our battleships are in really, really shitty position. They still have something. They still have something in B. Can you stay alive, Benham, without... Oh, don't. He's gone boating. this DD. That gives us that gives us hope. Can I fire at this guy? Detect it, I can for a moment. I'm gonna have to be careful, that thunder is gonna come out of that smoke. Would you kindly sink a bit quicker? Damn you! Damn you, Rick! There somewhere, I guess. No joy. The w oh, I did get one. It's a bonus. Ben, and be careful. You're gonna r you're gonna run straight into. He's not aware. Gonna actually got a flood on that thunder. Yeah, poor Benham. That's that's a bad mistake. He's not watching. He's not watching any kind of mini map. Needs our DDs to stay alive. These guys are chasing a Vermont into the corner. That's no, 
that's not a good idea. I mean, the Vermont is so lucky. I used a reload booster and got no fire when his damage con was on cooldown. That sucked. Can safely tell you that definitely sucked. You know what? Detected. That's how that's how vulnerable this ship is. The second you get detected, you just go, uh oh, C could be dead, could really be dead. You know what? Let's just use that to be on the safe side. And uh, even then, I'm still not safe. What you doing, Palmer? Look at these guys! They're still chasing the Vermont. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. And the game ends. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hundred and seventy two K. You you do have this huge damage potential with this ship. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.